Hey everybody, it's Emerald, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you some different ways, six different ways, that you can unblock websites on Google Chrome. So, the first of these ways is probably the best known one. It's called a proxy website, um, or a web proxy, and it's pretty easy to find one. You just type in web proxy, and it will simply load up some free ones. There's thousands of different free web proxies. Now there are some downsides to using web proxy. The first one is that most web proxies are blocked through firewalls and most blockers. So this won't work for most people but if you have a simple blocking system on your internet then you should be able to get past it or a simple blocking system on Chrome. Now the second way which I'm going to be showing you guys is called the Wayback Machine. So the Wayback Machine, let me show you, you just search up the Wayback, I can't spell, Machine, not Proxy. The Wayback Machine is kind of like an internet archive, a library of internet websites. And so if you go onto the Wayback Machine, it will load up and it's pretty simple to use you just type in what thing you want and not only can the Wayback Machine like see past the web proxies it can also go backwards in time and you can look at web pages from the past if that makes sense another good thing is it's not usually picked up by blockers and so you can easily use this to get past some of your Chrome blockers now, the next way I'm going to be showing you guys isn't really something that I can show you guys, but it's something that I can tell you guys. And this is a hotspot from your phone. And this only works if it's not on Chrome, on the computer that's being blocked. It has to be through the internet, like a firewall. And I know it seems pretty simple, but set up a phone hotspot, connect whatever you're using to it, and you won't have the same internet blocks because you're not on the same internet. Of course, there's some downsides to this if you don't have unlimited data. You don't want to be slowed down. Um, the next way that I'm going to be showing you guys is called certificates. So this is actually a way. So let's say you have, like on my school computer here, I have Securely is an extension that's installed on here. Let me find it. Okay, for some reason it won't let me show you guys it. But there's Securely on here. Oh, found it. Right there, Securely. Now it's actually disabled right now. But... Though, how Securely works is when you open up a website, it redirects yourself to another website. And so, what you're going to want to do, how to stop it from redirecting, Google Chrome actually won't let any website redirect you to another website if you don't have its certificates enabled. So, if you go into your settings on Chrome, privacy and security, security go into security, Scroll down to Manage Certificates, Authorities, and then in here you can find a list of just different securities. Now, how do you find out what redirect, what the um, these are, the certificates for it? You go up to the corner here, press that, and you press on Connection to Secure, Certificate is Valid, and it will open up a Certificate Viewer. So I can see right here issued by Certificate Authority GoDaddy G2. So if I go into the um, certificates again and I find GoDaddy right here, G2, and I disable it, yeah, so certificates is a good way to do it. Now the next way I'm going to be showing you guys is a different way. and that is an emulator so I'll show you what an emulator is and this is actually a pretty creative way to get past blocks an emulator is it enables one computer system to behave like another and you don't actually have to get something and so if you guys watch my other YouTube video on how you can get um, you know a tablet on a Chromebook you can use the same thing on any device where you can get a mobile app or mobile apps running on it and you can easily open up the um, so like right here 
this picture. It's an Android emulator for a PC. And there's a few different free online emulators that you can find by searching up. And you just have to be creative with it. And you'll be able to find some emulators that will actually let you run browsers inside your browser. Which brings me to my next thing, cross-browser testing. So cross-browser testing, there's a few different, so like browser stack, lambda test, PC cloudy, cross-browser testing.com. Those allow you to test browsers on different devices, enabling you to get past a Chrome block, extension blocks, if you will. And the final way that I'm going to be showing you guys is something called a VPN. Now, a VPN is called a virtual private network, and there's a few different ways that you can use it, but the easiest way is to use a free VPN provider. And I feel like the easiest one that you can use on almost any device is an L2 TP VPN. It's pretty simple, and there's a few different ways. That there's actually a lot. This is the one that is usually the fastest for me, opentunnel.net. But you can use other ones if that doesn't work. But a VPN will allow you to get past, again, just like the, um, the hotspot one, it will allow you to get past internet firewalls and blocks. So those are the six ways I'm going to be showing you guys. And make sure, if you guys liked it, to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.